So the really exciting thing about the 340 project was that we started with a uh, blank sheet of paper for the hull. It was really important to us to come up with an entirely new hull form that was dedicated and optimized for outboard power because of two really important factors. Number one is the speed factor. Um, these boats will generally be uh, about 10 nautical miles an hour faster than the corresponding size boat with the inboard power that we currently build. So the speed envelope, the performance envelope, was increased very dramatically. The second thing that was really important is the nuances of the outboard drives themselves as they differ from an inboard straight shaft drive line. So it's really important to um, be able to design the hull so that we uh, capitalize on all the benefits um, that the outboards have to offer. Another great advantage that we had is that we were able to run these CFD simulations. This allows us to try a bunch of different hull forms and a bunch of different features and see how they respond to the simulation environment. So computational fluid dynamics uh, sounds a bit intimidating, but what it really means is, is that we 3D model these hull forms, the deck shapes, the, the boat is, is, is built in a virtual world before we build the boat in the real world. And these CFD simulations are a way for us to take that virtual hull and put it into a virtual tank test. Examples would be like this window here where we're looking at um, the relationship of the lifting strakes with our bow thruster tunnel fairing. Um, we can also change obviously anything about the lifting strakes whether they be the arrangement on the on the uh, running surface or the dimensions of the lifting strakes themselves. We can also look at some of the dynamic trimming features and the traditional trimming appliances so that would be trim tabs and interceptors um, and we can compare and contrast those um, at various speeds. We can also look at what the loads are on the hull as a result of uh, introducing those dynamic trimming systems. What are the bottom pressures? What are the loads that this hull is experiencing? And so what that does for us is not only can we see you know, what the loads are relative to say the structure of the hull form, but we can also see how they're distributed and they're just as importantly as the positive pressures. We can see where there are negative pressures that develop and we want to make sure that we manage that very carefully where there are negative pressures uh, only where, they, where we want them to be and where there are positive pressures where we want them to be. And that's effectively what you're seeing is that this is a virtual boat in a virtual running uh, scenario or simulation. It's a really quite a powerful tool and one that we're really pleased to be able to use so extensively while we were developing the 340 hull form.